Okay, so the grey bulb that's for sale. As it says in the description, there is a fair bit of work to finish it. One of those things is the bodywork. I've just got it placed on here to show you what it looks like. But to give you a tour of the rest of the bike, I'm going to take it off. Um, the bike works as it is and it goes pretty well, but it's not very pretty. Um, and it has a couple of things such as the charging system at the moment is very basic and pretty slow. So, here we go. That there is a Chromotor V3, rated at three kilowatts, can pull over six kilowatts um, at peak. Uh, if you go and look them up, you'll find they are incredible motors and it makes this bike really accelerate hard. Um, and on gravel, like we've got outside, it can easily wheel spin. Um, so, motor, Controller. It's a Kelly Controls KEB72451. You're not going to remember that number. It's there in the description. Basically, you can program this through this port with an included cable. Uh, at the moment, I've got it set to very tame. You can wind it up if you want. Um, and then next part is the batteries. Now, these are from some rental company that never actually got going and my buddy ended up with them. They are six of them. Each one is 7.8 amp hours at 36 volts. They are wired three parallel, two series, which gives us 72 volts, which means that this guy can kick out a good bit of power into here because more volts equals more RPM. So that's more speed. Um, it's about 1.6 kilowatt hours, which I would estimate gives you a range of some kilometers, 20, maybe 30, honestly don't know. Um, but it's a decent sized battery is what I would say. If you rode it like a normal e-bike at 30 kilometers an hour, you would get like over a hundred kilometers, but you're never gonna ride it that slow. So that's the electrics. Oh, I guess a little bit more on the electrics. <clears throat> it's off at the moment. We use the light switch to turn it on. So if I press the light switch, red LED, green LED, now it's good to go. And we twist the throttle like a normal motorbike, which I'm not going to do while I'm not on it. Um, we have incredibly good brakes. These are Magura Big. Apparently they're standard issue on some German um, post bikes or post um, vehicles. And you see we've got two calipers down there. So yeah, two discs, two calipers. Pretty cool. The rear brake is a Tektro four pot. So it's a pretty good one. Um, then let's go the rest of it. Suspension, long travel, DNM brand, which seems to have been around, but it's just a Chinese brand. Doesn't, don't know anything about the quality, certainly doesn't have much in the way of damping. Same for the rear, it's a DNM. Okay, now where were we? Sorry, I got distracted. So I think I've gone through most of it. Um, oh, also it does have a center stand, which is too short and no good. <laughs> um, and a brand new, comfortable saddle. That's actually a really nice saddle. Um, bit of a shame to see it go. Rambling, get to the point. Good points on this snow. Let's start with the bad points. The bad points are, as you can see, it is just a proper patched together thing. It's nowhere near finished, really. If you are going to buy this and expect to commute on it every day, forget it. This is a project for someone to either just use as is, but be happy to work on when things go funny, or it's a project to turn into something really good looking and really polished. Um, yeah, that's, <clears throat> that's the main downside of this. Um, upsides are, it's fast. That motor is really powerful. If you don't like this bike, but you do like want to go fast on a bike, that motor is a great thing to have. The brakes are fantastic. Um, and the saddle is fantastic. So yeah, fast, 
stop fast, stops well, and is comfortable. Um, the rest of it needs finishing. Alrighty, so what is not shown here actually is there is a little cycle analyst display, which if I get myself over here, yeah, that's not showing you much. It's a little display. If you wire that up properly, you can see voltage, speed and stuff. I've never bothered to. Um, that's the charge, uh, they're not charging, that's the programming cable for the controller. Um, it does come with this chain if you really want to put pedals on it, but you're gonna have to figure out how to get tension in the chain. I haven't been able to figure that out. Um, yeah, all right, that's all. So, thank you for watching this video. Um, if you bid for this bike, good luck. Be aware that it comes with no guarantee or no technical support. It is a fun project, but a project.